Omura had voluntarily relocated to Denver, where he helps other Nisei who fled the West Coast early. By 1944, Omura is editor of the Rocky Shimpo newspaper. Everybody was jumping on the people who were resisting. No one was offering any alternative. So I scratched around, anguished over it, and I finally came up with the idea that if I throw out uh, the constitutional theme, uh, maybe they would grab it, you know? This editorial would land James Omura in jail. The Nisei are well within their rights to petition the government for redress of grievances. Beyond that, it would be treading on unsure footing. Unorganized draft resistance is not the proper method to pursue our grievances. One of my neighbors subscribed to his paper, and one day he came running over with that article and said, hey, look at this, look at this, you know. I just took a look at it. I couldn't tell the people to organize, but in essence, I was telling them to organize. I already had my mind made up already, though. But I, I was happy that there was people on the outside that would support our cause. Over the next two weeks, subscriptions to the Rocky Shimpo from Heart Mountain rise from 1,000 to 1,200. The editorial became one of the most read, most analyzed, most summarized editorials during the war years. 